for co-main event of the afternoon. Ovin St. Volkov will take on the third-ranked undefeated Frenchman Cyril Gon, but for now, it's this matchup. Tonight's Fight Clocks brought to you by Modelo. And looking at Ovens, he still looks like a light heavyweight, right? When he made his heavyweight debut, he looked a little heavier. He yeah. had gained too much weight, didn't look like himself. Still looks like himself in this fight tonight against Bozer. Or this afternoon against Bozer. He is 10 pounds lighter in this heavyweight matchup than he was against Ben Rothwell. Mm -hmm. You can see it. He was planning on and making he had a cut to 205, yeah, right. so he came in lighter and leaner, which I think is going to really benefit him tonight. I asked Ovince about how he starts slow. He said that's just kind of by nature, right? He takes everything at that pace until he's ready to go. So you won't see Ovince change it up and be a guy that just explodes. But Tanner Bozer comes out ready to fight right away, landing a lot of kicks. Oh, oh my goodness, what a right hand by Bozer. That was a windmill coming over the top. Solid bulldozer. Following it too. And Bozer has just been chip on shoulder this whole week. And his right hand kind of caught the back of the neck for OSP. Another I mean, solid body. Kick. Yeah, Bozer's going hard, man. Fighting with a lot of pace, a lot of pressure. Beautiful stance switch there with that right hand. Well, he, he was honest with us. You know, he's like, this is one I have to go out and I have to perform. I have to do well. Or. You know, could be my career. You know, Whether you, you know, and then that's not even to say you get cut, but you don't want to be on, a, a, you know, a three-fight losing skid. And I mean, but you could also be on a three-fight losing skid and bet your entire purse on yourself. Yeah. And then, I mean, like earlier, yeah, so, you know, like so we got two guys in the same situation. Tanner Bowser seems to be the one that's a little bit more uh, yeah, yeah. mature in terms of his approach, yeah. right? He said, "Listen, I'm still going to get paid. <laughs> I'm taking my money. Yeah. I don't trust myself all that much. Like, <laughs> come on." Thank you. Bozer wow. stepping in. Stutter step throws a left hand that time. Yeah, I like the way he did that. Kind of switched his stance. But I mean, throw his P out. But I mean, even looking at Ovens, right? Like he's not throwing. No, like, you know, we're we're three minutes into the round and he's just not throwing. And he's taking leg kicks from a big, strong guy in Tanner Bozer. Still there. He's that. Start the dog. That was a good position. Here's a good position. I think that was one of the issues, too, in the St. Prue fight that he fought last against, uh, I think it was Jamal Hill. Right? Yeah, he just kind of waited, waited, looking for those counter shots. And Jamal Hill just overwhelmed him until he found the shot and finished him. You know, you cannot wait, especially as you age in the fight game, right? You got to really be the one that's kind of leading the dance. And, and to this point, again, Ovin St. Pru isn't doing that. No, he's just throwing front kicks at the moment. And we've seen him do this before. Like you said, he's got to have a sense of urgency, especially when you're up here at heavyweight, where when these guys, it all takes is one shot. Mm -hmm. And he's rolling with these punches, right? But it's... It's a matter of one landing. Even that big right hand earlier in the round, Ovince was able to roll with it, and it landed on the back of his neck. He's looking for seven. He's looking for seven. Just like that one he just got hit with a second ago. He rolled with it. It kind of hits the shoulder first. But he's got to get going, especially against a guy in Tanner who has said openly he hasn't trained since the last fight. <laughs> yeah, so he's going out there saying, Listen, if I can get out of here early, the better for me. Yeah, Tanner wants out of there. He's not, or... or but, I mean, look at him. He still looks fresh, right? For five minutes, he looks great. Bozer looks great. Oh, man. I mean, OSP is just getting out of the way of some of these shots. They're not landing quite clean yet, but if they do, it's going to be an issue for them. Bozer doing a good job mixing it up as well. Yeah, really nice kicks tonight. Or not. A little more. Just a little more. Still there. There's a kick. He immediately backs off. And we know OSP can kick. I mean, we've seen him throw that left hip kick, left body kick, and really yeah. ruin nights for people. Ten seconds to go, Connor. Stay strong. Yes. 
Final seconds yes. of round one and a big one for the Canadian. Back with round two. The UFC's iconic reality television series is back. Do not miss the return of the Ultimate Fighter, Team Volkanovski versus Team Ortega, which premiered earlier this month on ESPN+. Plus. A new host of fighters compete to make their UFC dreams a reality. Sign up now at ESPNplus.com to watch. New episodes drop every Tuesday at 9 Eastern. You're in the corner of Vince telling him he can't wait. Cannot wait. That front kick up the middle. Not enough. No, he's got to start to throw some punches. Just nine down the middle. Yes, down the middle. That's some really solid leg kicks. I mean, leg kicks yeah. are good tonight. And if Bozo can fight like this this round completely, you know, last fight he felt like he won. He felt like he had done enough. And Lira Latifa was able to wrestle him just enough to get the decision. Well, if Bozo keeps fighting like that, there will be no question. He's active. He's accurate. Some of those kicks, those kicks are getting blocked to the body, but he's still just banging them into Ovid's yeah. group. Hitting the arms, too. Oh. I was waiting for this. I was waiting for OSP to at least try a level change, because he certainly doesn't seem to want to strike. He's got to sag. There it is. Step over the top and sag. Now we can start to get into Bozer. And now things get interesting here, especially with OSP in side control, but it's yeah. up against the fence. Yeah, but Bozo's got to grab his head, right? Like, I don't know why guys don't let go of his neck whenever he takes him down like that. That's yeah. The only way to do that behind the choke is if you're holding on to the head. One of the and guys, for some reason, just keep holding on to this dude's head. I saw the one fight where I forget who it was. I'm going to draw a blank, but he almost... There was no guillotine. He just put his arm yeah, around yeah. and I'm like... Might have been Ocon. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, let go of his neck. Let go of his neck. We're trying to rename the move, but you guys are putting yourself in it. Yeah. But this is this is a much, much better round so far. Getting on top. You got three minutes left. And also, hey, make him grapple. Right? He hasn't trained. Make him grapple. Let's see how that cardio holds up to you leaning on him, wearing him down. Oh, he grabbed his face. He has to grab his to get up there. The ref caught it. Oh. Yeah, but he grabbed the fence to pull himself up. Here. Go, Small for Bozer, who tries to wrap back himself. Oh, man, really bad. Yeah, bad fence grab. Oh, big right from Bozer. That's going to do it. That's bad. Bozer with a huge knockout. That's bad.